Hey everybody, Brandon here, and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to build custom route markers for your route in Train Simulator 2016. Now for those of you who do not know, route markers are these things specific to the route editor that allow you to instantaneously travel to a set of coordinates in your route. So instead of moving your camera around from place to place to decorate certain places in your route, you can now just open this flyout, click a location that you've created, click a button, and you're there instantly. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to make those now. The first link in the description for this video will direct you to this page. And I want you to download the full version of RW Tools and the update to it, okay? RW Tools is a tool developed by Mike Simpson. It's a piece of donationware, which means that it's free to use for a certain amount of time, but then from that point you need to donate some money to him in order to keep using its functionality, okay? Now RW Tools is a suite of tools for Train Sim 2016 and it has a bunch of features, I'm not going to get into all of them, but a couple of the features we have use for in this tutorial. So I'd like you to download the full version and the update, those two zip files, okay? Now once you have them downloaded, go to your downloads folder. You'll see the two zip files that you downloaded, the full version and then the update to the full version. First I want you to extract the contents of that archive. And then, in the folder that pops up, right-click on the Install RW Tools 6064 Executable, and then hit click Run as Administrator. Go through all the prompts. It's very quick and easy to install. Once it finishes, then I want you to open up the folder to where Railworks Tools was installed. By default, it's installed at like C, Rail, something, RW Tools. Open that folder. I just so happen to have my version of RW Tools sitting here on the desktop. And then you're going to go back to your downloads folder. That second archive you downloaded, the update, extract it. And then the files that you extracted, you're going to copy over to your RW Tools folder, okay? And make sure you overwrite everything, okay? Merge everything, copy and replace everything, overwrite everything. Now you have a fully updated version of RW Tools. Open it. The first thing you're going to do is go to the Options tab. And you're going to select TS 2016 Path. If it doesn't direct you immediately to your Steam directory, you're going to navigate to your Steam directory. By default, it's C, Program Files x86, Steam. Alright? Get to your Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. Then scroll down and select railworks.exe, and then hit Open. or double-click the executable. Whatever you have to do to get that prompt to close. Now you've told RW Tools where your Railworks installation is located, okay? So now go to the Root Building Tools section and then click Set Up Developer Folder. Now here you're going to enter your name and then the name that you want to name your assets. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to name it Brandon and then I'm going to name the product my product. It doesn't it doesn't matter at all what you name these. But make it something memorable because you're going to be using these names in a couple steps up, a couple steps further. Hit process. Click through any prompts and then it will say your provider and product folders have been set up. Click okay. Minimize RW tools. Now, the second and third links that are in the description for this video, download them. 
they are these two files markers.bin and markers.dcsv all right now once you have those downloaded I want you to go to your Steam folder wherever Steam is installed for you so just so happens for me I installed it on a separate drive but by default for you it should be C program files x86 Steam go into the Steam apps folder common railworks assets the name that you specified as the provider in the previous step then the name of the product and then the root markers folder copy markers.dcsv and markers.bin those two files that you just downloaded into the root markers folder all right now open up RW Tools again. In the Files tab, open TS2016 file, navigate to that root markers folder, and open up markers.bin. Now you're going to want to take note of these two lines. The first one is this localization line and I just set a default name for you guys markers title name now what this is is in the flyout that lists your root markers in the root editor this will be a title saying hey that's this is this section of root markers alright so I named mine uh, New Haven to Boston line and then every root marker I made it was listed in sequential order directly beneath this title so I'll make it something memorable okay The second and final line you're going to be modifying is this line. You're going to be changing the provider part of the line and the product part of the line. The provider that I specified before was Brandon. Make sure it's capitalized the same way as the name of the folder. And the product was named my product. Oops, not Minai, my. My product. Once you have those entered correctly, make sure it's correct because if it's messed up at all, this process will not work. Once you're done, Files tab, Save File. You can close out of RW Tools at this time. We're not going to need it anymore. Now in your Root Markers folder, now we're going to actually create the root markers. Open up markers.dcsv with any word processor that you want. I'm just going to use Notepad. All right. Now I populated this XML document with three locations. Location 1, Location 2, location 3 okay you're gonna see they're listed in sequential order starting with number 2 there is no number 1 it starts with 2 and then it goes to 3 and then 4 alright so these are all separate locations they each have an X coordinate a Y coordinate and a friendly name that's the name that you'll see in the root editor okay to add one copy one of these sections start a new line Paste. Oops, one moment. Just messed up. There we go. Paste. And then change the number of the ID number to be the next one in the sequence. So in this case, the next number in the sequence is 5. You can keep going as long as you want. And then change the X and Y coordinates you obtain those coordinates in game in the root editor the latitude and longitude those are the numbers you're gonna plug into here okay and then give it a nice little name save the file you can always come back to this file at any time and edit it but make sure before you do that you close down the game make your changes save them then open the game back up again okay anytime you make changes to assets you have to restart the game in order for them to take effect. So now at this point we can load up TrainSim 2016. Alright, go to the Build tab. Select your route that you're working on. In this case, I'm just going to choose New Haven to Boston and then click Edit in the bottom right hand corner. Let it load.
All right, in this second flyout, on the left-hand side, you're gonna click this small blue cube with a orange arrow, and it will open up this flyout on the right-hand side. If you don't see these flyouts pop up like they just did on my screen, hover over them, like go over to the far extremes of your screen to make these flyouts pop out, and then click this thumbtack icon to make them stay, okay? Anyway, once you click that small blue cube with the orange arrow, this flyout on the right pops up. In the drop-down, you should see your provider name listed. Click it, and then you should see your product name appear in the list. If these do not have check marks in these check boxes, click it, so both of these check boxes show green check marks. Save the route by pressing F2 or either pressing this orange arrow in the bottom right and pressing yes to the prompt. That saves the route. Now you're going to completely exit the game. I mean completely exit it. Close the game. Restart the game. And once you're back on the main menu, go back to the build tab. Open your route. Let it load. And now your root markers are loaded. To access your root markers in the top center flyout, this compass, you're going to click this circular icon directly above the white play arrow. It'll open a fly out in the right hand side and your root markers will be somewhere in this list. It's ordered alphabetically based on the title name. So our title name, markers title name, just happens to be before all these others alphabetically. So it just happens to be at the top. And all four of our locations that we had in that markers.dcsv file show up. Now when I click on each different location, you'll notice that the latitude and longitude numbers in the compass area, the compass flyout, change. Once you click on the location that you want to go to, click on this white arrow, and you'll be transported there instantaneously. All right? So if you guys have any problems, uh, RW Tools acts up and says you have missing OCX files. Um, any issues following the instructions on this tutorial at all, post in the comments, hit me up on Facebook or whatever. Uh, just make sure that you... The, the most common mistakes people are going to make with this whole process are they're going to mess up entering the provider and product names in the bin file. They're going to screw up the formatting in either the bin file or the DCSV file somehow. You can't mess up the formatting. You need to get the formatting correct. Every bracket, every quotation mark counts. So don't mess it up, please. Um, and another thing that will probably trip some people up is they'll think that they can have the game open and modify their root markers and then save the file and that they'll automatically appear in game again. No. Close the game first, make your changes to your root markers, open the game up again from scratch, and then your changes will show up. That's the proper way to do it. Alright? Any questions, any problems, comment, post on Facebook, and I'll help you guys out. I hope this video helped you guys out. It's, a, it's so convenient when you're building a big root to have root markers like this. Hope it helped you guys out. Take care.